Hey there, I'm not Dan, but in this video we're going to be learning about solids, liquids, and gases. It's... When bitter nights are calling, can't find them sleep. Can't you see I'm falling? Oh, no. Welcome back. Now in this video, obviously we're talking about solids, liquids, and gases, and hopefully this is more of a refresher than actual learning new information. Um, so in order to get started, let's bring up the amazing picture-in-picture -picture window of science. All right, so let's get to it. Let's start with solids. All right, so we're talking about the, the different properties here. So for solids, can we compress them? Well, so as you can see here, I've got a, uh, uh, a bottle of ice, right? So the water is frozen solid on the inside and you can see, no, I cannot compress it. Everybody knows that you can't compress a solid. What about particle motion? Well, are they really moving? Well, see, here's one thing about solids that most people don't really uh, remember or recognize is that um, everything in the universe is moving. Okay, it, it, it just does, right? Everything vibrates with its own natural frequency. So even though the molecules aren't necessarily sliding past each other, they are moving. So we're going to say that uh, solids vibrate in place. Okay, next one up is the volume. Is it constant or not? Well, yeah, no, it's always the same. Solids, volume stays the same. So yes, it's definitely constant. And its shape is also very definite, okay? If for some reason I was able to take the ice out of this water bottle, it would still have this exact shape, okay? It wouldn't be until it melted and turned into a liquid that it would finally start changing its shape. And then for fluidity, are these molecules flowing? No, they are definitely not, okay? Next one up are the liquids. Okay, so back up top with the compressibility. Now here's the, the probably the number one thing that most people tend to forget is since they know that liquids are, are fluid, they tend to think, oh yes, I can compress a liquid. Well, can you? As you can see, I am trying to squeeze this water bottle and no. Okay, the thing is you actually cannot squeeze or compress a liquid. It can flow and it can change shape, but you cannot compress it no matter how much you try. Now, if I were to pour out a little bit of this water, like so, and here, here's probably where most people kind of go wrong, is because, so now I actually can squeeze it a little bit, but what I'm compressing is not the liquid, but the gas that is now up here on top. So liquids you cannot compress. All right, particle motion. Well, clearly they are moving around, so we say that they are flowing or that they can slide past each other. Okay, next one up uh, the, is the volume. Well, the volume is constant, right? However much water in this bottle is exactly how much water is there regardless of how I turn this around. So yeah, the, the water is flowing, but the volume is staying the same, okay? And as I mentioned before, for structure and shape, well, it takes the shape of its container, okay? So no, this is not a definite shape because it can change, okay? And obviously it's liquid, so yes, it is fluid. All right, next one up are the gases. So I got an empty bottle here, but is it really empty? No, of course not. There's gas on the inside of this particular water bottle. So can I compress it? Yes, you can compress a gas very easily, actually. Uh, for particle motion, gases are pretty much free to move however it is they want. So they are very fluid, okay? Uh, for the volume, uh, this time, uh, the volume actually is not constant. The, the volume of a gas changes all the time, okay? Mainly because they are so spread apart and they're so free flowing. Um, and for their structure and shape, clearly it's not definite because I, mean, I can you know, change it, compress it, um, you know, if I opened up the, the bottle and now there's all this other air getting in and air going out and all that good stuff, definitely not, uh, not constant there. And then last but uh, not least, are they fluid? Of course they are. In fact, gases are way more fluid than even liquids are. 
Okay, so there you go. Just a real quick refresher of the three states of matter. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you have any further questions, please be sure to comment below. And if you haven't done so yet, please hit that subscribe button and join us on this adventure known as chemistry. So thank you guys so much. I'm not Dan, and neither are you. Check you later. Oh, <laughs>